Hello! Why does a carnivore diet work? This is a question that I was asked by one of my clients. By the way, if you ever work with me, I encourage you to ask questions. There is no such thing as a dumb question, and I expect you to ask questions more than once, the same question, because when you're learning something, it takes a couple times of hearing it, sometimes experiencing it, for it to stick. So just heads up in advance, if you ever work with me, I expect you to ask questions. I actually am concerned when people don't ask questions. So this is a, a request from one of my clients. Why does a carnivore diet work? There are multiple reasons why. Number one being that you are removing the interference and providing a proper foundation. You've probably heard me say this before if you've been on my YouTube channel before. Uh, if not, welcome. You're removing the interference. What is that? Well, anti-nutrients. Animal foods do not contain any anti-nutrients. Many plants do plants, grains, beans, lectins, phytates, oxalate. There are lots of different anti-nutrients and meat or animal foods do not contain any anti-nutrients. So you're removing the interference, anti-nutrients is one of them, and providing the proper foundation, which is the carnivore diet, which is animal foods. Humans assimilate nutrients from animal foods. We have a singular stomach that is designed to digest meat. Cows and gorillas have different types of stomachs. They have fermentation chambers, so they can actually consume vegetables, they can eat grass, and they ferment those in their stomachs. We don't have fermentation chambers, but cows and gorillas do. They even differ from each other, but I won't get into that. But they both do have fermentation chambers, and they assimilate nutrients from plants. We do not. So if you wanna talk about getting the best bang for your buck, getting the most nutrients out of your food, then just eat animal foods. Removing the interference, anti-nutrients. Providing the proper foundation, bioavailable nutrients. I'll also say that carbohydrates are not essential and the carnivore diet is mostly fat and protein. We do have trace amounts of carbs in um, shellfish, egg yolks, dairy products, but it's very minimal. It's mostly fat and protein, and we need fat and protein. Those are two essential macronutrients. The non-essential macronutrient is carbohydrates because your body actually produces its own glucose as needed via gluconeogenesis. I have a video on gluconeogenesis if you would like to learn about that. Why else does the carnivore diet work? It supports um, your hormones. So our hormones very, very much need fat, saturated fat, and protein. I think that the thyroid craves protein and the adrenals crave fat. I believe this is generally true. They both need both, but in general, I see the thyroid needing protein or even extra protein when healing and the adrenals needing fat while healing. The precursor to your sex hormones is cholesterol. We get plenty of this on the carnivore diet. So if you uh, if your hormones are struggling, this way of eating is the way to go. Why else does a carnivore diet work? It um, supports the satiety hormone, leptin. When you remove processed, hyperpalatable foods and carbohydrates, you are supporting leptin. The formula for leptin sensitivity is fat plus protein. I have a video on leptin if you'd like to learn more. So it's also going to regulate your hunger signals, um, upregulate your hormones, help you to become leptin sensitive, which is why it works for weight loss. Well, many people can eat three times, four times as much and still lose weight. I actually worked with someone, we finished working together like a month and a half ago maybe. Uh, we worked together for 90 days and at the beginning of our time together they were eating very, very small amounts of food, like 800 calories. By the time we were done working together they were eating maybe 1,800 to 2,000, and they had lost 10 pounds. So they were in a surplus the entire time, but removing certain foods and only consuming these foods, which are the most nutrient-dense foods that have a purpose. They play a role in our body. It's not just, it's not just variety and entertainment and garnish. It's this has a role and this is the only thing I'm eating. It's cutting out all the noise the carnivore diet is very simple if in, in most ways. I will say it can get complex for some people because it is not a one-size-fits-all approach. 
But anyways, my point is that weight loss is not just about being in a deficit of energy. It doesn't have to mean you have to white knuckle through um, counting calories and not eating to satiety because you can do that on this way of eating and lose weight and build muscle. Those are some of the reasons that the carnivore diet works. You are supporting your body at a systemic level. This is something else that you've probably heard me say multiple times. Supporting the body at a systemic level means you're not just focusing on one area in isolation. You're not just looking at the thyroid. You're looking at the immune system, hormones, the central nervous system, the whole body, systemic healing. And when you do that, when you take the bottom up approach instead of top down, and you, you just focus on the foundation, your body will thrive and heal and it will detox as it needs to. And I'm talking about Lyme disease, mold toxicity, H. pylori, SIBO. These are things that your body can take care of parasites when it's properly supported. I've experienced it myself and I've seen it with so many of my clients. It's not even funny. I'm surprised by the amount of things in the functional medicine, nutritionist, um, you know, natural medicine doctor world that are still scams. Whether they realize it or not, you don't need to do this whole herbal detox for your Lyme disease. You don't need to do this, um, swallow this tincture and that every day for a gallbladder cleanse or parasite cleanse or anything like that. It's really just as simple as supporting your body and using food as medicine. There are other things involved like proper sleep, sunlight, um, supporting your circadian rhythm, hydration, movement, connection. You know, some people I work with, it's not just the food. It's actually the internal dialogue, which I talked about in uh, a video that I will be posting or have just posted a recent one. So there are other things involved, but nutrition is a part of that foundation for proper health. And that's what the carnivore diet is. It is just focusing on the most nutrient dense foods. So that's a summary. I think those are the reasons that stand out to me. If you have any comments on why the carnivore diet works, I would love to hear them down below because I think that could be a really interesting topic for a lot of people to ask themselves, why does this work? You know, it could be because it frees me from food addiction or because it, it healed my hormones. Um, it was the only way that I wasn't bloated when I eat. It healed my gut. I would love to hear that. All right, that's all. Bye.